into it. Yes, we are in the Kibo. In the first time I walked into Kibo, I realized that uh, Kibo was in the space. Actually, it was barely moving in the, in the earth. Um, Kibo was cherished and uh, um, handled very carefully, and there are a lot of experience and experiment, and then Kibo is really used. And also, I am very, very happy that I was able to walk into Kibo. My name is Obara from NHK, and this question to Ms. Yamazaki, too. And uh, we saw you working very hard in the space. How do you evaluate your job in this mission? What score do you give to yourself for what reason? And uh, when did you realize the most? about the last Japanese shuttle mission? Well, maybe for the first question, I'd like the, the commander to, you know, evaluate my work in space. <laughs> so far, I think it goes well. And uh, thanks to the, all the team and all the teamwork on the shuttle and the boats on the station, uh, the works are going well on time. Today we finished all the MPLM supply and return items. It's a great celebration and three EVAs and, you know, it's a great work. My name is Kikuchi from the Kyodo News Agency. Uh, yesterday, uh, no, the day before yesterday, uh, you had uh, communication with uh, Minister Maihara and uh, other um, children. And you expressed the haiku and the earth flower are the children of the universe. And I heard that you were um, looking at the sky and the space uh, since your childhood. After you came to the space, were there any change in your view of nature, life, and the way of thinking in general? Yes. Uh, when I was in elementary school, um, I heard that the element um, consisting the, the earth or the, uh, the universe and ourselves are the same. So it was a touching moment, too. And when I came to the universe, I really realized that um, we are actually the part of the universe. Um, I do not know how to express the view of the nature and the life, but the, um, the earth from the space was so touching and beautiful and spectacular. And I also thought that the ability or, or the potential of the human power is um, Sparp, uh, it it ha, um, it involved 10,000 or more people got involved in this exploration. The teamwork was uh, beautiful. Uh, my name is Kikuchi from Kyodo Tsushin. Uh, this question is Mr. Noguchi, and this is the first time two Japanese are in the space. When you welcomed Ms. Yamazaki for the first time, what was your impression or what did you think uh, about her? And uh, uh, do you communicate in, in Japanese language when you are off, off duty? I was so happy to tell you the truth because uh, one of my colleagues came to the space. So I was nostalgic and I was really happy to see her um, in the off duty time and, um, and on duty time too. The uh, loading and reloading um, activity was done together, so we were communicating in Japanese language, so I talked a lot of Japanese this time. Uh, this is the last Japanese shuttle mission, and uh, what would you like to communicate to the Japanese people, and what would you like to bring back from the space to the Earth? Thank you very much for your question. Uh, let me see. The, this might be the last Japanese shuttle mission, but the space exploration does not end. So uh, we have uh, um, infinite potential in the space, and there are a lot of te technological developments.
development ex ex um, expected. So in the Kibo uh, and all the operation uh, of the ISS can be brought back to the earth and then um, taken advantage of to the uh, future space exploration and space development. Thank you. My name is Sydney Souther, and my question is for Alan Poindexter. How do you prepare your body to get ready to go into space? That's a really good question. And as you can see, we, uh, we stay in shape 